Hello, I'm Vanita Sakar here at the University of Minnesota with Professor Thomas Stoffregen. And many of you think that motion sickness is caused by what happens in your inner ear, but the professor says that is not the case, and you're going to run us through the simulation and show us why. I'll give it a try, Vanita. If you could just step up on that, put your feet there, and look, look straight ahead. Okay. Just look straight ahead. One, two, three. Oh, no. It's very unnerving to see that wall come right at you. All right, Professor, what is this simulation showing? The simulation is showing that, that um, you are responding to an unexpected motion stimulus uh, in a way that is making you physically unstable. So I was able to knock you off this piece of wood using only a motion stimulus, only something that you could see moving. And the question then is, does that happen in a way that is going to tell us whether or not you're going to get sick? So how can we prevent it? Because we have all these patches and things with our ear and that's supposed to help us. The prevention is, is potentially there if you are able to develop a way for people to respond, essentially respond less to this, to be more stable and to be less likely to be made unstable by the motion. So do any of those other things work? They work a little bit. They work in the sense that they tend to make you drowsy. They're, they're the kinds of medications that you would normally take when you have a cold and they tend to make you drowsy and they make you more interested in sitting down or lying down and if you're doing that then you're less likely to be made unstable.